What's up everyone? This is Million Dollar Mud here again with another video. And today, guys, we got big upgrades to the team. We even got the new Barry Sanders, guys. The card is insane. Uh, if you guys haven't tried him yet, you need to give him a try. He's insane, guys. I did put the Ravens chemistry on him. Um, let's check him out, guys, and see how the lineup is looking. Guys, I paid a lot of money for this card uh, to get it, uh, to show it to you all. I know you all wanted to see the stats, how he looks on a team. Here you go, guys. We got David here, left tackle. Uh, Ronnie Stanley backing him up. We got Bradley here still. We do got the new Travis Frederick. Now, the reason, guys, I haven't upgraded the left guard is because I know uh, Legends uh, should be dropping when the uh, game launches. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so understand some of these players are, are probably not going to be as desirable. Uh, usually the, ed, uh, the Legends start around 89. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, guys, um, uh, you can see here we got Zach Martin. Um, I did get the right tackle. He's an 89 overall. But anyways, um, I wanted you guys to see that. In fact, I'll show you his stats on the team. You can see here he has 89 strength, 86 awareness, pass block is 86, pass block power is 89, pass block finesse 82, run block is 89. That's really good at this point in the game. Uh, that means powered up, guys. I'll get over 90. I do not have him powered up. Uh, the reason being is I'm waiting to see what legends come out. If there are no legends that, that come out that are higher than him, I will power him up. Uh, so that way I can have the best right tackle in the game. Uh, run block power is 90. And uh, run block finesse is 84. That's a bit low. Uh, powered up, that will go up quite a bit. Also, guys, um, we have here uh, George Kittle. You can see him here. Uh, he has 82 speed, 75 strength, 91 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 83 spec catch, 89 short, 84 mid, and 81 run block. His run block is really good. Uh, George Kittle is a really good player. Uh, so excited about that one. Also, uh, Zach Ertz. Uh, we have him here. We got him for free from the uh, Rivals. Uh, Darren Waller, uh, we did get him. Um, I kind of was late on getting him. In fact, um, I got him on my Raven squad now. If you guys uh, didn't see that uh, video, make sure you check it out. Uh, we got Tyreek Hill here, guys. The fastest uh, wide receiver in the game, I believe, in, in the uh, Madden Ultimate team. Let's see here, guys. 91 speed, 85 jumping, 84 catching. 80 catching traffic, spec catch is 80, short 85, medium 80, deep route running is 88. Yeah, guys, he's a beast. Uh, if you guys didn't see my gameplay on the uh, free Lamar Jackson, make sure you check that out. Um, I did wind up uh, uh, using him uh, with uh, Rack um, Superstar Ability. Make sure you check that out. He's a beast. Uh, we got Andre Johnson here. I do got to level up, get him uh, leveled up to an 89. I will eventually do that. Uh, we do got Michael Thomas here. Uh, now, the only reason I got Michael Thomas here is really just for looks. Uh, I'm going to wind up upgrading once I see what legends come out. I want to see what receivers come out and so on and so forth. But uh, his speed is, that's the thing with Michael Thomas. But everything else, I mean, his catching stats are ridiculous, as you can see there. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's the reason he's in there now. And then I have the one and only, guys, the one that you all have probably come to this video to see, guys, is Barry Sanders. Uh, now, he's a 93 overall. He doesn't have a power-up in the game. Uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, he's going to be one of the uh, launch legends that come out, so it'll probably be an 89, 90, I don't know, so it'll be with his power-up. If that's the case, uh, powered up, he'll be ridiculous. Uh, he's already right now 92 speed. Um, he does go to 94 on this team because the boost up. Uh, 95 acceleration, 95 agility, 90 carrying. 75 catching, 95 change of direction, 70 trucking, and 92 break tackle. Guys, at this point of the game, this is ridiculous, guys. Those stats are just amazing. Now, I do want to say this. I do have them activated, guys. Uh, let me say that again. I do have them activated. Yes, I do. Let me show you what I have on him. He's the only player I have activated since I started playing this. And the reason being is he had too many abilities that were just so useful. Uh, you can see here, guys, I got backfield mismatch, reach for it, which that's a new one this year, and evasive. Now, I don't know much about these um, 
abilities this year. Maybe you guys can leave a comment below and, and um, give me some knowledge on it. It says there on the top right corner, AP limit. So let me know what that means. Uh, you can see there it says backfield mismatch, one AP, reach forward, one AP, or evasive four AP, I'm guessing added points. I, I don't know what that signifies. Uh, can you guys please let me know in the comments below? That way you educate me on that. Um, and also help our fellow viewers as well if they're uh, wondering about that. Uh, but yeah, guys, he is activated. Let me show you what abilities he gets. I know you guys are probably curious about that if you haven't uh, got him yet. Right here, guys, he gets some... Um, we got new abilities this year, by the way. That's the wrong thing to click on. Oh, he does get any team chemistry. I'm glad I clicked on that. He does get any team chemistry. I did put the Ravens chemistry on him. Uh, but you can see here, guys, he gets Wrecking Ball. That was here last year. First one free was here last year. He gets Rack Em Up as a running back. He gets Yak Em Up, increased chance to break the first post-catch tackle. That's pretty interesting. That could be pretty glitchy, guys, uh, especially on a, a screen pass or a flat route or something like that to break the first um, tackle. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see throughout the year. He does get freight train, which I liked last year. That's the reason I got it. Uh, this one here might be one that I try on him, the uh, Yak Em Up. He gets satellite. That was here last year. Ankle breaker. That's new this year. Uh, high fake out rate on skill moves following the catch. That's another thing, guys. That could probably go along with this. Um, yeah, this one will probably be better. Uh, you know, catching something and then make a move. That will be pretty interesting. And then you got grab and smash. High success rate on stiff arm truck post catch. Uh, so that um, that will be interesting as well. I will probably get that on, on a more uh, larger uh, running back. Uh, for his first slot, he gets uh, Energizer, Replenish Stamina after successful skill moves, Clutch, Homer, Spin Cycle, Jukebox, Indoor Baller, Reach For It, Come Back, Reduce Zone Objectives While Losing. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, better Routes and Catching from the Backfield versus Linebacker. That was here last year. He gets Second Win, Stamina has a chance to replenish during a play, and Balance Beam. That's new this year. Avoid stumbling as a ball carrier. In fact, I probably should have got that one instead of Reach For It. Uh, you can see here I got Reach For It on the second one. I might change some of these up. Uh, these are pretty much the same as the first one. I should get maybe uh, Juke, Spin. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, he does get evasive on the third tier. Uh, Grant steerable spin and juke moves, guys. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting. I know that's a new thing this year. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to let you guys know how it works. He gets closer. Uh, backfield master, that's a good one. Uh, reach for it, come back. Uh, same thing as the other ones. Anything new here? No, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, and then eventually, guys, he will get human joystick as he did last year. Uh, but yeah, this evasive could be... Um, it can be pretty glitchy, guys. I'm looking forward to uh, try it. I haven't even tried it. I just literally got him, and I wanted to get this video out to you guys uh, because I know I was curious how he'll look. I was curious what abilities he got, so I wanted to, uh, I guess, bring it out to you all if you guys are wondering. That way it, um, uh, you guys can see what he gets. Uh, on defense, guys, uh, defense looks really nice. Now, I did not get Isaiah Simmons. And the only reason I did not get Isaiah Simmons, guys, just a tip from me, Isaiah Simmons is probably the best user card in the game right now. He's an 87 overall. Now, guys, I don't know what legends are coming out, you know, if a strong safety comes out, but pretty soon in the next couple weeks, we're going to be getting a lot of content um, once Madden drops and for the first, well, for all the months, but especially the first two, three weeks. So keep that in mind. Uh, that could be a card that's very expensive now, but once cards come out, it could go down in value very quickly. Now, I did get Jamal Adams because I plan on keeping him all year. I did power him up. To me, it was more of a smarter investment uh, just because uh, once he gets an upgrade, I mean, he's already going to surpass um, Isaiah Simmons. In fact, uh, right now, remember, Isaiah Simmons probably won't even get a power up to the end of the year, just like last year with all the rookies. I mean, right now he got 86 speed. I mean, look at his hit power, 90 hit power. I mean, this card's insane. Um, in fact, does he get Enforcer? Now that I, I just realized that he has 90 hit power. I don't think he gets Enforcer, but now I, I do have to check that. I got Derwin James. Uh, love the way he's playing. Uh, we got Eric Weddle here, guys. Uh, now, this card here is, uh, let me tell you, it's very, very good. He's been playing very well. I did power him all the way up. He's a 91 on this team. 
He has 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 90 tackling, 92 play rec, 89 pursuit, man is 78, zone 89, and hit power is 77. Uh, yeah, guys, he's been uh, playing very well. Uh, his height's only 5'11", but he plays a lot bigger than that. Uh, we do got uh, Earl Thomas as well backing him up, as you can see there. Uh, right here, guys, Thomas here, right outside linebacker, guys. We did get him. In fact, we got him on the Raven squad. He's a beast. In fact, I got him activated on this team. I'll show you what I have on him in a minute. I, 85 speed, 88 acceleration, strength is 86, tackling 91, play rec 90, block shedding 88, power move 89, finesse move 73. Uh, yeah, guys, he's been playing very, very good. In fact, I got to put him to rush uh, left end or right end, whatever the opposite side of Aaron Donald. Uh, that's one thing I did forget to do on my lineup, so I had to put him in uh, manually during the game. Uh, we got Stephon Gilmore here who's been playing really well. That's why his card is so expensive. Uh, people are realizing that. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, very fast cornerback. If you're looking for a budget cornerback, uh, his speed is just incredible for his uh, overall. Aaron Donald, one of the best cards in the game. Uh, Chris Jones been balling out. Um, Fletcher Koch, I could, I could get him as well. I haven't got him just because Chris Jones has been playing very well and I love his height and his size. Uh, Calais Campbell, um, which we got here playing left end. And then we got a re um, Aenis Williams, who's been playing really good, guys. He's the best team captain in the game by far. Uh, look at his stats, guys. He's a, what, a 90 overall on this team. 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 89 agility, 88 jumping, 90, 91 play rec, 9, 89 man, 83 zone, and 81 press. Yeah, guys, he's been playing really good. In fact, I use him some of the times when I got him in that slot corner. Uh, I usually use her, uh, him or uh, Jamal. I sometimes even use her Derwin James. Uh, Bobby Wagner here, he's a really good run stopper. Uh, against the pass, I mean, you don't really want to use her, him. You just want to let him run around the field, uh, to be honest. He's one of those type of players. Um, on defense, I do have Thomas here activated. Now, let me show you what I have on him, and let me show you what he can get, if you guys are curious about that. He's a 91 overall on this team. Let me show you guys real quick uh, what abilities he gets. I have uh, Unstoppable Force, which I did get last year. Now there is new ones. There's Momentum Shift, or I'm sorry, that was last year. It was just like a strong arm. Uh, Selfless was here last year. Avalanche, that's a new one this year. Now this year, I'm gonna probably be getting all my safeties and some of my linebackers. This is supposedly a really good one this year. Uh, Run Stuffer was here last year. Uh, this is a, a, well, it's a new logo, same thing, reinforcement. I used to get that. In fact, that was the one I used to get on most of my um, sub linebackers and safeties. Unstoppable Force and Fearmonger. Uh, now this here, he gets Adrenaline Rush. Um, sacks restore all pass rush points. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, Mr. Big Stop, third and fourth with half your pass rush, with half of your pass rush points. Okay, that one I haven't tried yet. I'm probably gonna try some of these out uh, and see which one's the best. Uh, you know, you could always refund it back. They got that new thing. I hope it's the same this year, to be honest. Uh, you can see all his things here. He gets a uh, second win, spinner, swim club, ripper, Mr. Big Stop, extra credit. Extra credit grants an additional max pass rush move. Adrenaline against secure tackler, unfakeable. A lot of these are new. Instant rebate, um, unpredictable. What's that? Shed one's less likely to add to blocker resist. That's pretty nice. Speedster, that could be a good one. Speed rush moves Partially ignore block of resistance. That could be pretty glitchy right there. And then Edge Threat Elite uh, that I used to get last year. Now, double or nothing grants dominant pass rush wins at twice the cost. Uh, that could be interesting too. Interesting, I should say. But yeah, guys, he has a lot of things that you can get. Now, I wanted to try this one, Otor, dominant um, bull rush wins from max pass rush points. Supposedly, that's a really good one this year. Edge Threat Elite. You know what, I'm probably gonna, he gets no outsiders as well. This double or nothing, a lot of these seem pretty, better contested catches. Adds points, yeah, I gotta try some of these. Let me know if you guys know of any that, that are really good. I'm just trying them out at the moment uh, to see which ones are the best. Uh, but if you guys have tried them out, let me know if you heard uh, some good ones. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and then guys, uh, special teams. We got um, we got Sam and Justin here kicking. We got Tyreek Hill returning the uh, kicks. 
which I should put Barry Sanders there. I got him there as the second uh, returner. And then a specialist, we got Barry Sanders third down back, uh, Tyreek as the uh, slot receiver. In fact, let me make that change I wanted to make earlier now. I want to move him to, um, so there he is right there. Okay, so we'll move him there. Uh, we'll see um, what overall he is. Okay, he's an 84 there. I don't really care about that. Uh, sub linebacker, let me get Jamal in here. Uh, since now we have that extra safety. Yeah, we'll put Jamal in there in the sub part. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's the team right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. What's this? Abilities? Oh, what happened? I must have deactivated his abilities when I moved him to rush left end. Yeah, I got I to reactivate him. Okay. So let me reactivate him here. Appreciate all of you. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. I appreciate all the support too, guys. Keep it up.